Okay, so we're going to continue on with our 2D drawing here. So we're going to go drop down, do part. Okay, so we're in a new part file. We're going to do 2D sketch. We're going to choose a plane. And now we're going to go ahead and take a look at this pattern stuff here. Okay, so, so let's say that we have, um, let's say that we got a circle, right? Okay, and we want to make a pattern out of this, right? The next thing we need is we need actually two lines to, to go off of. So, so essentially what we want is we want this to so right click, okay? And we're going to click, move, click to make our line. Right click, okay, to get out of it. Okay, so now we have our two reference lines. So in order to make a, um, a pattern here, we need these two lines, all right, the rectangles. Um, so for this first rectangular pattern. So we can choose rectangular pattern. Now notice we have three red arrows here. So we're going to choose geometry as the thing that we want to uh, repeat. Direction one is the first axis, right? So notice we made our first circle here. Direction two, we're making our second circle. Okay, so notice now we have four circles. Um, and we can go ahead, this is the distance between them. So we could say we want like 0.5, okay? And 0.5. Okay, and let's say we want 10. And we want 10, okay? We're gonna go ahead and click okay. Now. Notice that um, that basically now we have these these things. Um, the the trick here is that let's say that I want to dimension this circle, right? Okay, let's say that I want to make this one uh, five inches. Okay, notice that they remain connected. Okay, so I just made every circle five inches, right? So when I when I do something to this one circle right here, notice that it it's it remains in a pattern. So it's not just creating the pattern; it's actually maintaining a um, a relationship to the pattern, right? Okay, so that is the uh, that is our uh, rectangle pattern. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do a circular pattern. It's the same concept. We're going to go ahead and make a, a circle. Okay, we're going to make a circular pattern. Oops, we need a line for an axis, right? Okay, and we're going to make a circular pattern we need geometry so we're first going to select geometry that's the thing we want to copy we're going to select an axis okay which is just a point in this case see how the end of the line just highlights there okay and notice that we get this thing this uh you know uh, so so right here we have uh how many we want which is four or let's say ten all right uh and notice that i can um so I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now let's say that I want to move this out. See how it maintains that distance. So the distance from the 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 point to the original or any one of the circles in here uh, determines the radius, right? So if I drag it out, I can actually move this pattern in in order there. All right. Uh, um, we can also so you could I could have just made a point there, not a line, which would have made more sense. All right. Finally, we're going to do mirror. Uh, so let's say in this case, let's go ahead and say that we have this uh, kind of complex shape that we have to draw. Um, so click, drag, click, click, drag, click, click, drag, click. Okay, so we have this kind of complicated shape that we want to draw. And I've kind of made it here. Um, Okay, um, and let's say that, you know, there's a way, whoops, <laughs> so, okay, let's say that, uh, let's say that's my complex shape, all right, and uh, so now what I want to do is I want to basically mirror that, so we're going to go ahead and select uh, what we want to mirror, notice how we can select each line segment is going to be a separate selection, okay, then we're going to click mirror line, and I'm going to choose the line that I want to mirror around, okay, I click apply, and notice that I get a mirrored uh, version of this. Okay, so notice I get a mirrored version of this, all right? Okay, so those are the pattern tools in, uh, in Autodesk Inventor. Uh, good luck.